Welcome to Steve's Hydroponics. Hydroponics is basically a system that allows you to grow plants without using soil. It is fun and easy and uses less water than planting plants in soil. Some pros about hydroponics is that you don't have to plant them in soil, well, obviously, and most diseases are prevented by using hydroponics. However, some plants cannot be grown hydroponically. It can also be very expensive to set it up. But there are other ways to grow plants hydroponically, such as simply using two cups, one big one, one small one, vermiculite, and a piece of string. Here's how you make it. First, you get a cup and poke a hole at the bottom with a hot nail or something. Mr. Blanton, our teacher, did it for us, so I didn't have to do it. <laughs> um, second of all, you tie the string so that it doesn't go through the cup and place it inside the hole. So this, put it inside. Either way is fine, but I would recommend it like this. Like that. See? Now, the string does not go through here, right? Unless you pull it really hard. So now, you have your very own string with a cup. Third, fill this um, about like 10 liters, I mean 100 liters of water over here. And, well, I don't have a sink right now, so. And place this little cup inside this. And this string will soak up water, and then it'll, all the water will eva um, evaporate through the string. Um, fourth, um, you have to fill that up with this kind of rock. I forgot what it was called, but it's really absorbent and it helps plants to grow. So just fill it up like till here, two thirds or half, whatever, and <clears throat> place your seeds in. And putting your name on it, optional. So it'll grow and like like makes a lot it makes a lot of progress, and it'll, you'll see some growth in about five six days. I don't know, but like three days is even okay. Hydroponics has been used ever since the Greeks and Romans. Although there isn't very much evidence, there still ha is and it has been used for over one thousand years. In fact, we wouldn't even have hydroponics right now. In the 17th century, there was a major development in hydroponics, where greenhouses began to be regularly used to grow plants and vegetables. During this time, a British scientist named John Woodward began, began experimenting with growing spearmint without soil. He discovered that these plants grew larger and stronger than, that, the, than the plants that grew with soil. The next major development was in Germany in the mid-19th century. Growers in the United States began exp examining the possibility of using hydroponic techniques in the early part of the 20th century, too. Typical greenhouses required a great deal of maintenance because the soil had to be re replaced regularly, and it was too much money. So, they came up with hydroponics. Hydroponics was a cheaper way to use to grow plants and... It has been developed for the past 1,000 years. In my project for hydroponics, I made my very own hydroponic plant. What I used was a pea and it grew a lot for the past week and a, and a half. I was excited to see the results of my plant each day and I also hope to see my peas grown to other peas so I can plant them later on. Early in this video, I showed how to construct your very own hydroponic plant, and my plant actually did grow very well. If I were to evaluate myself, I would probably give myself a C or lower, because for, the four, for four days in a row, I didn't record any information down, and I was off track. Um, I would probably do that over as well, if I were to do the, this project over. And my P was growing really, really slow. So I was really hoping to get some better results. And I think this was a great project to learn and it was very interesting. In the future, scientists predict that there won't be any more land to grow crops and we will have to use hydroponics in order to survive. There are also predictions that the cost of solar heating greenhouses will reduce and plants are being drawn so that we can live on other plants by using hydroponics because they don't have any soil. 
What I think will happen is that hydroponics will develop even more and more, and almost everyone will use it to live. I was wondering about why we did this project, and I think, and I think it's to teach us about what will happen in our lifetime later on in, in the future, and how hydroponics can impact our life. At first, I never heard of hydroponics ever, but now I know how it works and what it will be used for in the future. I really thought that this was an interesting project to learn about, and I hope to learn more about hydroponics later on in the years. Visit Steve's today at www.steveshydroponics.ca